everybody and welcome back to another lesson of freaking awesome Italian. I hope you can hear me over the screeching birds outside my window. Isn't nature beautiful? Today we are going to be learning something very important, very useful. And I feel like I say that every single episode, <laughs> but it's always true because especially in these early stages, everything we learn is very important and very useful because you're learning the foundations that you use to put together sentences. Maybe Later on, when we get into more nuanced nuanced grammar, it might not matter quite as much if you get it exactly right, you know, but these things that we're learning right now, you'll use them every time you're forming a sentence or and you'll recognize them every time you see a sentence. So let's jump right into possessive pronouns. As you remember from school, possessive pronouns are my, your, our, they're just things that show possession of a thing, right? In Italian, it's kind of particular because in Italian, instead of saying my house, you say the my house. You use the the definite article. It's kind of funny. It gives Italian a little uh, a unique sound to it. So you say la mia casa, la mia casa, il mio amico. You're literally literally saying the my friend, il mio amico, la mia ragazza, my girlfriend, il mio lavoro, the my job, right? So the possessive pronoun must match the possessed object in both gender and number. See up there how I said I used la for casa because it's feminine singular. And I said il mio amico because it's one masculine friend. So it's masculine singular il, right? So it has to match the possessed object in both gender and number. Be careful. This is a this is a problem with a lot of English speakers. It's it's something that is a, it's a little hurdle to overcome if you're an English speaker coming to Italian that it has the it has to match the gender of the possessed object, not the possessor, not the person that owns the object like we do in English. So for example, uh cuz we don't have uh objects and nouns don't have grammar. I'm sorry, don't have gender in English, right? Car is car it doesn't it's not masculine or feminine it's just a car right and so whether you say his car or her car depends on the gender of the possessor in english right his car means it belongs to a man and her car means it belongs to a woman in italian it's the opposite in italian it the gender matches the gender of the car not of the possessor so that's just a little mental thing that you have to switch over in your mind when you're when you're learning Italian. So for example, look at this sentence. Giulia is a woman's name, obviously, right? So Giulia gioca con il suo cane e poi saluta la sua amica. So Giulia plays with her dog and then she says hi to her friend. Her she greets her friend, right? So cane is masculine, so I used il suo cane. Amica is feminine, so I said la sua amica. It doesn't matter the gender of Julia. It doesn't matter whether she's masculine or feminine. We could replace her name with a masculine name, Mateo, and the sentence doesn't change. It's exactly the same because it doesn't matter the, the gender of the possessor. It matters. What matters is the gender of the noun, the possessed thing, right? Il suo cane, la sua amica. So that's just a little thing that you have to get over in your head and uh, and then you'll have it. All right, so let's jump right into what these possessive pronouns are. First, let's start with the first person singular. So here we have a little chart where I show you the masculine column and the feminine column, the singular row and the plural row, right? So, il mio, la mia, i miei, le mie. So masculine singular, il mio, Feminine singular, la mia. Masculine plural, i miei. Feminine plural, le mie. Uh, don't worry, I'll give you. I'll give these to you all together at the end. So if you don't, if you're uh, frantically writing, don't worry, you can write it all down at the end. Second person singular, tu, right? Il tuo, la tua. I tuoi, le tue. So you can see how it's kind of, it follows the same pattern as il mio, right? Il tuo, la tua, i tuoi, le tue. Third person singular, so this is, once again, this is the same for he or she, right? Lui o lei, il suo, la sua, i suoi, 
le sue. This is easy because let me go back to tu for a second. See how it's exactly the same? That just the T became an S. Exactly the same. Just remember that. Just like that third person singular, il suo, la sua. Now, when we get into the plurals, it's a little bit different. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed this part. So careful. Don't confuse suoi with sui, right? We saw sui last episode. Sui is the, 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 um, so su is the preposition for on, right? And then e is the masculine plural definite article. And when they're next to each other, remember how they combined? We learned that last, last lesson. So sui, S-U-I, is su plus e, sui, right? But this one, if you see it with the O, i suoi, that's the possessive pronoun, masculine plural. So sometimes that can be a little bit of a, a little catch, but don't worry about it. Just you'll 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 recognize it right away once once you see it. I suoi is the possessive pronoun. Sui is the preposition plus the article. Okay, now we're gonna get into the plurals. So noi becomes il nostro, la nostra, i nostri, le nostre. Remember watching mafia movies and you hear cosa nostra, right? Our thing. Il nostro, la nostra, i nostri, le nostre. And when you get into the second person plural, it's exactly the same, but the end becomes a V. Il vostro, la vostra. I vostri, le vostre. There you go. The last one is the easiest one for third person plural, loro. It's literally just loro the whole time. It doesn't change. Il loro, la loro, il loro, le loro. So the, the pronoun is the same as the possessive pronoun, just with the article added to it. So let me give you a, a giant chart. Here I, had, I have a six-pack with a little mini four-pack in each cell of the six-pack. So you can, see it, you can see it all together. There you go. That is all of the possessive pronouns for each person in the six pack. If you want to pause the video, you can write this down, jot it down in your notebook, take a screenshot, whatever you want to do. There you have all the possessive pronouns that you'll need right there in front of you. All right, so moving on, let's... Oh, I'm sorry, one exception. Uh-oh, the article is not used with close family members, okay? Remember how we were saying la, mia, casa, right? The, my house. The article itself, la or il, is not used with close family members. So you say mia mamma, not la mia mamma. You don't say la with brothers and sisters, parents, grandparents, children, right? Close family members, you don't use the article. That's the only exception to this rule. So tuo fratello, not... Il tuo fratello. Your brother. Tuo fratello. All right, so let's practice. Go ahead and pause the screen and fill in the appropriate possessive pronoun. I gave you the person in parentheses after the sentence. And pay attention. I threw in some tricky ones in there. Little trick questions. So pay attention and do your best. And then we'll go over the answers. Okay, let's go over the answers now. So the first one. Io, right? Il mio lavoro è difficile. My job is hard, which is true, <laughs> by the way. Il mio lavoro è difficile. Next one, voi. I vostri cani sono belli. Because I see cani, I know it's masculine plural, right? Because it ends in I. Most of the time, things that end in I are masculine plural, with a, with a few exceptions. So, next one, lei, il suo amico si chiama Ettore, her friend's name is Ettore, remember it doesn't matter her gender, what matters is the gender of the friend. Next, nonna, that's a close family member, did you remember to leave out the article? Nostra nonna mi ha dato un biscotto, our grandmother, our grandma gave me a cookie. 
Remember, no articles with close family members. So there's your first trick. There you go. Next one, voi. Il vostro capo vi ha dato il giorno libero. So your, plural, your guys' boss gave you all a free day. I romani amano la loro città. Città is obviously feminine, singular, so la loro città. Loro doesn't change. Remember that. Andrea Vocelli, here I gave you two of them. So, he ha cantato la sua canzone nella nostra chiesa. I guess I should have told you that canzone is, is feminine. But I'm sure you probably guessed that, but if not, it's on me, my bad. So, la sua canzone, that's feminine, singular. Here's the trick, though. In la nostra chiesa. In la, that's a preposition next to an article. You remember what happens? We learned this last lesson. Every time a preposition is next to an article, they combine. So, in la becomes nella. Nella. So that rule that we learned last time applies to possessive pronouns also because possessive pronouns have articles in them. So every time a preposition is next to an article, they combine. <clears throat> so it's Andrea Bocelli ha cantato la sua canzone nella nostra chiesa. So Andrea Bocelli sung his song in our church. In the our church. There you go. Next one's a romantic one you can use for your boyfriend or girlfriend, you are a piece of my heart. Tu sei un pezzo del mio cuore, right? Di il becomes del, del mio cuore. Next one, ogni notte nostra figlia, no article because it's a close person, is a close family member, daughter, right? And son. So ogni notte nostra figlia chiama vostro figlio per telefono. And finally, ho mandato quelle lettere ai miei amici. So, a, i, becomes ai, miei amici, ed al mio capo. A, il, becomes al. There you go. So, that now we're tying together what we learned last week with this. And now you know how they, you know, you can see how they go together. Awesome. That's all I have for you this week. You this week. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci.